Greg Brunts with another useful tech tip for you. So what I want to talk about today is the permanent split capacitor motors that are used in scroll compressors or even in a rotary compressor. And what I have here is a cutaway view of a rotary compressor. But as far as the motors themselves in a PSC motor being in a scroll compressor or a rotary compressor, the way we troubleshoot it is identically the same. So you can see from the fusite where the wires actually connect on the outside of the compressor, that's just so they can be hermetically sealed. And then the wires inside the compressor, where all your refrigerant and compressor oil and all that is, is actually inside that shell going down to the motor windings. So it's really not much different than testing a, a blower motor, a condenser fan motor. A PSC motor is a PSC motor. The only difference with a compressor is that the motor is hermetically sealed inside there. So the thing to keep in mind is locked rotor versus shorted, open, or grounded. If you have a locked rotor condition, typically what's going to happen is that compressor motor is going to trip the overload. It's not going to trip the circuit breaker. If you're tripping the circuit breaker, you probably have a, either a grounded or a shorted compressor winding. If it's tripping the overload, then it's possible that the compressor is, is physically locked up and the motor just can't turn. I hope you found this tip useful. Keep tuned in to edgetechhvac.com for more useful tips.